Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah. Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this fern? Oh. If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try this way. Another letter? Ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's find Jay's. All right, huh? focus. You don't want to fall from this high up. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Alma Wister. Ah, made it. And sticky, oh. Although, this liquid should help me climb up.
What in the... Called? Uh, yes, Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? <coughs> On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there something behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your business. <laughs> 
I'm an idiot. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? Why would she be? I don't know. Are you coming? Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Gruber. Why do you need Miss Gruber? You good people. <laughs> Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a reason for everything. Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. 
Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No. You can't leave. You are arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kay. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me, then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway, and you'll be told everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than he ought to be. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. Kai. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke from my colleagues at the bank. <laughs> it's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we, the guardians of the law, are sent out. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this All the world for you. I think it's a law which is existing only in your head. You're treating you politely and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for Thank you.
Are making a big mistake. We're treating you politely and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for it. Not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with matters of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. Besides, you think we'd let you see the supervisor dressed like this? He'd have you thrashed and dusted. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If you surprise me, while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't expect me to be in my best suit. Since you need to get changed to meet with the inspector, Mr. K. It is better to hand your personal belongings over to us. There is a lot of thieving from the storage room. Things tend to disappear and get sold after a time. 
And cases like yours, you know how long they can drag on. No, how long can they drag on? Cases like this. For a very long time, naturally. Um, of course you'd get your cut from the sale. But it would only be a small sum. And its size is not determined by the s my apple. And my yes. box. Ah, inside yes. I oh. should have... Oh, where is it? A bicycle license. I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification. These are my documents. Now show me yours. Uh, and the arrest warrant. Dear God in heaven, why can't you simply understand your position and stop irritating us with all these pointless questions? This must be some kind of prank. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor. Suit yourself, Yes. <laughs> 
Young man, why are you here? My name is Joseph K. I know who you are. You are a friend of Gregor's hamster. Oh, you know Gregor? Didn't he refer me to you? No. No, my uncle did. He's an old acquaintance of yours. Ah, yes, of course. So, is it about your trial? Yes, it is. <sighs> You've come as a very inappropriate moment. I was told to come now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Inside, I have the ledger with all the cases. Without it, I cannot work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Probably. But for now, we must wait. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regrettable, but not entirely without its justification. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be... Oh, the date. Yes, uh, I don't have the ledger to check when your hearing date is. Pathetic. You're not supposed to know that anyway. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. Yes, that is the only way to influence...
Opening. What do we have here? Oh, a certificate. A trial. Can I see it? Uh, no, no, don't worry. But your desk, it's working. Don't get so excited, Mr. K. Please keep your composure. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see. Yes, just what I thought. As I mentioned before, <laughs> the first set of documents needs to be prepared. <laughs> this will take yes. some time. Uh, so what yes. about me? Should I just wait? That's what many of you think you to do in this situation, <laughs> as your trial is still in the infancy. Haste and action could bring more harm than good. You'll have to excuse me, but I cannot just sit and wait. Patience is a virtue, Mr. K. A virtue much appreciated by the judicial system. I suggest you go back to your everyday tasks as a... Uh, as the bank. That is where you work, no? 
How can one just continue a normal everyday life knowing that he is accused? That he is under suspicion? You will be surprised to discover how easy it is to get used to such a situation. After a certain moment, you won't even notice the ongoing trial. <laughs> Great. But at least you can tell me when my hearing is, right? Not really. Isn't it written in your ledger? It is. But as your counsel, I can't really tell you. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. Oh, these staples. Oh, the certificate. Did I staple it already? Anyway, it's official now. I'll put it with your documents. I don't quite remember why it was needed. Documents? What documents? Mr. Hold, I'm withdrawing your representation in my case with immediate effect. Uh. Do I understand you right? I think you do. Well, we can certainly discuss this plan of yours. It's not a plan anymore. We still mustn't rush anything. Nothing is being rushed. Everything has been thought through, probably for too long. The decision is final. Uh, then allow me to say a few words. You are running the risk of catching a cold for no reason. The circumstances are important enough and you've become impatient. I am not impatient. It is just that I came to you, hoping that this case would become less of a burden for me. Well, quite the opposite is happening. If you would represent me, I will end up worrying about the case much more. I will always, without ceasing, be waiting for you to do something. It will grow more and more tense. As for the information about the trial itself, you won't even tell me when it will occur. And I am left guessing that it's getting closer and closer. After a certain point in the proceedings, nothing new of any importance ever happened. So many litigants have the same stage in their trials have stood before me just like you are now, and spoken in the same way. Then all these other litigants have been right, just as I am. I wasn't trying to show
Avoid those in office becoming deeply corrupt when everything is devoid of meaning. That is why we look Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Bruce. Sorry, 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 not now. 
Ugly power. 